So for the last few weeks I've been harvesting courgettes, summer squash, zucchini, whatever you want to call them, hand over fist. And I've got another couple here, if you'll excuse me a second. There's one, it's a bit of a wobbly one. And I think I've got one in the bottom here. Small one, but I like, I prefer them quite small, more flavour that way. So, been harvesting these hand over fist over the last few weeks, giving them away to friends, um, etc., as you do when, when they start producing. But this time of year now, especially here um, um, in, in the weather that we've been having in Nova Scotia, very lots of rain, but, but warm, moist weather can trigger diseases in your in your zucchini plants your courgette plants and also with all this growth that we have here it can start to shade out the actual fruit and sort of prevent the bees etc getting in there um, and pollinating your fruit so giving this a good pruning and this one I have mostly given a good pruning can help prevent disease and increase your harvest nicely. So why don't we have a look at another plant that I haven't pruned recently and uh, see what we, what we can do to really sort of uh, help the plant. So as you can see, this plant here, massive, big courgette plant, leaves all over the place, the big leaves, and uh, you know, it's shading everything out. They're still producing fruit in there. One over here and on the other plant here, we've got one and um, a few more coming and there's actually um, a little rotten one there which I wanted to show you anyway um, but this could do with a good prune some of the leaves here are, are sort of yellowing off and all the the leaves that are sort of are along the ground here can get eaten up by the you know insects and and pests and and catching lots of different diseases so it's a good chance now to give it a good prune and allow the fruit for the second half of the summer here to keep producing and uh, it to be in tip-top condition for the last part of the summer. So, these big yellow ones here for a start, anything down near the ground, let's get rid of those leaves. Let's open the plant up a bit. It's got plenty of these top leaves here, so that's good. So anything down here, let's get rid of it. Anything bent or broken, don't need that. And my son comes from behind the camera there, so it's coming this across this direction. So now we've opened it up a bit, and think I'm going to get rid of this one as well, actually. And then I've got a nice open aspect all the way across here. Let's get rid of these. So that's two plants. So this plant here. These leaves here are being eaten up, etc. Get rid of them. And this hasn't set properly, mainly probably due to um, not pollinating properly. So it's just uh, not formed properly and now it's just rotting away. So we can get rid of that. These ones in the back, they're not actually getting much sunshine anyway. So let's get rid of them, front ones. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're being a bit drastic there. But, you know, I've been doing this a few years and it normally works quite well. So um, I'm going to, 
I'm going to get rid of that one as well. So now I've opened up all the front aspect of this plant to the sun so that it, it, there's more chance of the fruit ripening nicely and you know all the all the different insects can see the the flowers properly so they've got a better chance to actually pollinate right and i can still keep going with these ones that are down all along the ground here And there we go, nice easy way to help cut down on disease of your, your, your courgette, zucchini plants. Open them up to the sunshine so that your fruit got a better chance of, of ripening. And uh, that'll do good for the next part of the summer. Keep an eye on them, any sort of, keep getting rid of any, your dead and dying, Your dead and dying leaves for the next part of the, the summer. Job's definitely a good one. But you're probably thinking, Steve, I don't need any more courgettes. I've been giving them away to all my friends as it is. But you've been growing them, and I've got some nice recipes coming up over the next few weeks for courgettes, zucchini, summer squash type stuff. So uh, keep your eyes out peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> keep your eyes open for those videos. Job's a good one.